Hey guys, you definitely know my name by now. JJ, ha ha ha. We're playing ball here with my dad and mom. It's so cool. Hey everybody, ha ha ha. They made me play ball. Um, mom's kidding. We don't pretend I made them all play with me. Catch the ball, JJ, ha ha. We're having so much fun. Oh yeah, mommy, catch the ball. Are you having fun? Uh, well, yes, of course. You know, I'd love to watch soccer on TV rather than play it myself. Stop whining, dad. Kick the ball to me. Okay, catch it. I got him, ha ha. I love playing catch with my family so much. Oh my god, kicking a ball in heels is so uncomfortable. Be patient. We need to make it look like a happy family for our son. Hey, what are we stopping for? The thing is, it's nighttime and it's time for you to go to bed. By the way, it's starting to get dark. It's time for the kids to go to bed. Oh, you're right. We've been playing with the ball for a long time. Ha ha, I didn't realize it had been six hours. It was real fun spending time with you, son. I'm so tired of him. Oh, what? What are you talking about? Uh, nothing. He, he, I was just kidding. We have a lot of important things to do tomorrow. Plus, JJ has to go to school tomorrow. Oh, I hate this school so much. But okay, since you've been playing with me all day, I'll obey you. What an obedient and good child we have, isn't he? Oh, yes. JJ is a very good and obedient boy. <laughs> Thank you for such warm words. I love you, Mom and Dad. Go to bed already, fast! Uh, okay. Why do you have to yell like that? Uh, just kidding. For fun. Haha. <laughs> and Daddy and I need to talk after you go to sleep. Oh, yes, we have to go. Good night, JJ. Good night to you. You are the best parents in the world. I love you. Yeah, you too. I'm so tired of him. You should know. Friends, do you play with your parents? Write about it in the comments. It's so cool. But you know what? I'm not tired at all. I don't want to sleep. Maybe I should watch cartoons. Listen, what are we going to give JJ? Hey, keep it down. He might hear. And besides, we've talked about this. What are they talking about? It's supposed to be a surprise. I'm sure he'll love it, and it will be a good gift for us, too. Oh, that's what you mean. I can't wait for tomorrow. This is the coolest surprise for our son. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, yeah. As long as he doesn't hear us. It has to be the perfect surprise. Let's go to sleep because I'm tired of playing this stupid ball. Well, 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 surprise for me. Now that's interesting. I love surprises. I wonder what they have prepared for me. Could it be the new iPhone or a new video game console? I don't know. So interesting. The next day. Finally, my lesson's over. Friends, my surprise is waiting for me. What do you think they have prepared for me? Bye-bye, dumb classmates. I have a surprise and you don't. <laughs> By the way, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Very nice sign that reminds me to say this. Ha, there's my parents. Now they're going to give me my surprise. He's going to be totally shocked by this. Shocked? I'm so excited. It's going to be something very expensive and cool. Hey, JJ, come here. Hi, Dad, Mom, I'm running. Bye-bye, my school. I'm getting a super-duper cool surprise today. Well, where's my present? What kind of present? I think he's figured it all out. Then there's nothing to hide anymore. We really really prepared a surprise. It's waiting for you at our house. Oh yeah, I'm so excited. You guys are the best parents ever. What did you get me? Tell me. It's a surprise. You'll see what we've prepared when we get home. Be patient, JJ. You're really gonna love this. Hee <laughs> hee. Uh, okay. I'll be patient for a while, but I'm so excited to get home. Is everyone seated? Let's go. At least give me some clues as to what you bought me. No clues. You'll see it for yourself. And we didn't buy it for any money at all. Oh really? It's not worth a dollar? Two hours later. That's some nonsense then. Cool surprises should cost a lot of money. Look at this first. You'll love it. Okay, then what are we waiting for? Let's go home quickly. I guess I shouldn't have told you that. You're too emotional. Because you don't surprise me every day. This is all your fault. When was the last time you surprised us? What? Yes, you don't do any surprises for us at all. I'm your surprise. You must love me for nothing. Wow, is that honorable of you? I don't think so. Here's your surprise, JJ. Come look at this. Okay, let's take a look at that. Hey, Mom, Dad, it's so good to see you. Who the hell is that? Is this my surprise? Yeah, it's your new little brother. Oh, what are you talking about? I thought I was gonna live alone. No, I've lived here all my life. Stop fighting already. You're going to live together whether you want to or not. Okay, I think we're gonna be friends. How wonderful. I knew they would be friends. I like that already. I'm so excited to have a little brother of my own. Hey, I'm actually older than you, kid. I don't care about that. Thank you for your brother. Where am I supposed to live with him? In the same room. You can both fit in there. I don't like you, okay? Okay? I want to live alone. You're not welcome here. I don't like you either, but we're going to have to live together in spite of that. Hey, where'd you go? You're going to live on the street. This is my room. It belongs to me. What the hell is that? A green bed? That was my bed. Get out of here. Don't you dare touch that. My parents let me sleep here. It's my 
parents. And that's my bed. Get out of here, you green idiot. Your filthy hooves shouldn't be on my bed. Now you're gonna shut up. This is my bed now. And don't even think about arguing about it. Where do you want me to sleep? On that point, I know a very cozy and comfortable place for you. It's right there. There's already a bed for you. What? You're suggesting I live in this stinking closet? Are you crazy? You stink too. You're gonna live in a smelly little room. It's all right. I'm not living here. Hey, where are you going? Oh my God, he's playing on my computer? His parents let him do that too? How could they? This is not a cool surprise at all. Friends, do you fight with your brothers? Write about it in the comments. Unfortunately, it's time for me to live here for a while. Three hours later. Hello, friends. I'm so bored here. Nobody wants to play ball with me. As soon as Mikey started living with us, everyone suddenly forgot about me. Look at that. They're playing without me. Ha ha ha. We're having so much fun without JJ. Ha ha ha. We're having so much fun without JJ. He's so boring. I'm so much better than him. Yeah, they're much better better off without me, but I'm bored too. Maybe I should play with them. Nah, ha ha ha, this is so much fun. Catch the ball, daddy. Oh, that's so sweet. Did you hear that? He called me daddy. Honey, catch the ball. Nah! I got it. Ha ha, good job. Hey guys, can I play catch with you all? It'll be more fun together. Actually, we don't have a lot of space here. Mikey's right. You can't play here. In general, get out of here. Yes, go to bed. It's late. You're not welcome here. Yeah, go away. And we're gonna keep playing ball. Oh my god, that's so hurtful. I wanted to play ball too. Nobody cares. Seriously? But I'm your son. We played ball yesterday. Stop whining. Get out of here. Okay, I'll go. Now I have a grudge against all of you. Don't even call me to play with you. I'm much more interested in playing alone. I'm shocked. How did this happen? Some new kid who was adopted on the first day is more important to them than me. Ha ha ha. Mikey, you're the best son in the world. The best son? He's not even your own son. Oh my God, that's so hurtful. I hate him. He ruined my life. He took my family away from me. That was my room. What a pleasure it was to rest here. Now it's stupid Mikey's room. They told me to go to sleep saying it was getting late, but they keep having fun. I was even surprised at their insolence. I should teach Mikey a lesson so his parents stop loving him. Friends, who do your parents love more? You or your brother or sister? Write about it in the comments. And I have a plan for revenge. I can make a little bonfire and then I'll say Mikey did it. A little fire would be nice. Mom moments later. Oh my god, it's all burned up. All I wanted was a little fire. Oh no, we gotta get out of here. Otherwise, I'm gonna burn or suffocate. I definitely can't be in here for too long. Ouch, now that's a problem. How am I supposed to get over that big burning beam? Hey, somebody help me. I don't wanna die. Mom, Dad, oh my god, I'm so scared. Oh my god, JJ, what happened? Why is this place on fire? Save me, please. How are we gonna save you? There's a burning piece of wood. Stop talking and help me. Put that log out and get me out. How are we gonna get you out? Save yourself. How am I gonna do that? I can't touch it. Just jump over it. I cannot jump. You already don't like me. Oh my God, no one will help me. Ahem, ahem, so little air. Oh my God, I'm so sick. Oh my God, why is it so bright? And where am I now? What's with the white office? Am I in a hospital? Well, I guess I survived that fire after all. What a fool I was. Oh, hello doctor, what happened to me? You were rescued from a burning house. You're lucky to be alive, kid. Where are my parents? Can I go home? You don't have a home, you burned it down. By the way, your parents brought you some goodies. Oh cake, I love it, don't they resent me? I did set the house on fire. That's a very bad thing I did. Okay, I gotta get out out of here right now. I'm really embarrassed in front of them. JJ, where are you? Are you alive? Oh, he's alive. Oh, I'm so glad. JJ, I'm sorry for messing with you. I won't do it again. I take no offense to you. I'm sorry for everything. I'm the one who set the house on fire. The most important thing is that you're alive. We don't take offense. Okay, I thought you guys didn't even like me after Mikey showed up, so I thought I'd do some damage. Well, that was stupid. Yeah, that was really stupid. I won't do it again, and I'd rather not fight with Mikey anymore. I'm sick of your family squabbles here, but get out of here. The patient is already healthy. Oh, really? It's about time. Let's get out of here. I don't like being in the hospital. Then what are you waiting for? Get out of here. Get in the hallway. Let's not disturb the doctor. Okay, thank you so much for saving me. Bye-bye. JJ, please forgive us. We love you too, and so does Mikey. And don't play with fire again. Because of you, we have nowhere to live. I've already apologized. Stop insulting me. Yeah, we're all to blame here, not just JJ. Okay, I think we'll stay in a hotel for the first time. Then I'll decide where to find a second home. 
world. Hope we don't move into that straw house. This is the house. It's all because of JJ. Tell him thank you. At least we're not homeless. Okay, we're waiting for you all in our car. Hurry up. Okay, we'll be right there. JJ, let's really be friends. I won't fight with you anymore. Putting you in the closet was a bad idea. Yeah, ha, and taking my bed away from me too. But that's in the past. We're brothers now. I don't know. I don't think we can be friends again. Stop, let's be real brothers. Sleep in the same room, share toys, computer, and so on. That sounds so dumb. I agree, that's what real brothers do. They know how to share everything. Oh yeah, we're friends and brothers now. So cool. That's a good idea. And I shouldn't have messed with your parents and you in the first place. Yeah, I'm in charge. The next day. I live in an orphanage all alone without my mom and dad. Look at this circus of freaks. They're playing. They're having so much fun. So small and stupid. They all have friends, but I don't have anybody. By the way, guys, how many friends do you have? Write about it in the comments. I'd like to make friends with someone you know. Hey, JJ, did you know you stink? What? You're the one who stinks, idiot. You stink so bad I got a runny nose, you stinker. What dumb little babies you all are. You make me uncomfortable to be around you. Come on, come on, go cry in your room. Oh my god, they all piss me off so much. Hey, stop. We're gonna mess with you some more. You're also a total bore. Nobody wants you. You'll never have a family. It's idiots like you who will never have a family. No one will adopt you. Bye-bye, loser. I hear that from losers. I'm gonna go watch cartoons. I've got nothing to do for now anyway. It still hurts to hear that I'll never have a family. A lot of people from the orphanage have been adopted, but not me. I hope that someday I will be adopted by the kindest and nicest people in the world. Hey, JJ. Where are you? I need to talk to you. I'm in my room, teacher. Then I'll be right in. You're dressed, right? Yes, of course. Come on in. So, JJ, I have some very good news for you. Uh, what did you want to tell me? You're gonna have a family, JJ. They're already waiting for you on the first floor. Really? They're adopting me. Yay, I'm not living in this dump anymore. Quick, take me to that family. Let's go. I think they'll really like you. Try to look good in their eyes now. I will be the most obedient and good boy in the world. I'm glad to hear that. Let's go show you to them. Now all their love will be reserved for me. Uh, I don't think so. They will spoil me with candy, take care of me, and do whatever I want. There they are. Come say hello. Uh, who is that? I'm having a brother? But I want to be the only child in the family. Well, hello there, my little brother. Oh, he is so cute. He's going to live with us. It's a good one. I thought I'd be the only favorite child in the family. <laughs> we already have a favorite child, and it's Mikey. Yeah, that's me. Um, that's not cool at all. They're supposed to love only me. Bye-bye. I hope I never see you again, JJ. So, are you ready to be a part of our family? Um, if you love us equally, then yes, why not? He's really hoping for it. What a stupid kid. Hey, don't let him call me that. We don't even care about that. Let's go home now. You're not living here anymore, kid. Finally. Bye-bye, losers. I have my own family now. Okay. The only one who can say bad things is Mikey. You can't say that. It doesn't seem fair. I was told we would be loved equally. You've clearly been duped, JJ. You won't find life in our family any better than in an orphanage. Oh, that's not good. Get in the car already. Stop talking. Remember, JJ, I'm the boss of my family, and you're just gonna be the servant. Uh, is the little kid in charge of the family? Isn't that his father? It doesn't matter. By the way, guys, who's in charge of your family? Write about it in the comments. And it's time for me to go to my new home. I forgot to tell you, JJ, you're gonna clean up all my toys from now on. What if I don't want to do it? Ha! Huh. He's funny. Then I'll beat you until you agree to do it. Uh, okay, boss. I'll clean up all your toys. Do everything Mikey says. He's very good. By the way, we've all already arrived at our house. Oh, I thought we were going to drive a few hours to your house. Well, 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 that's what I like. This is a house for real rich people. Yes, we are very rich. We can afford a big mansion. I'm in. I'm lucky it was you guys who adopted me after all. You could only envy the people who live here. I feel like we could have gotten a bigger house. And you get a job too. Then we'll buy a bigger house. Will you give me a tour of your entire house? Yeah, of course. Awesome. You guys are so cool. Then let's show you everything. This is way cooler than your rotten orphan. Orphanage. I hope so. I don't even want to think about it now. Come on home, JJ. Make yourself at home. It's almost like home because you're adopted. <laughs> hey, that was actually kind of rude. Shut up already. This is our hallway. This is where we welcome guests. And this is our kitchen where I make the most delicious food in the world. Oh yeah, I was just getting hungry. We eat at this family dinner table all together. Okay, I get that. And that's our TV. This is where we watch the coolest cartoons. You can't watch them. What do you mean? I can't live without a cartoon. Because you're adopted. We forbid bid you to watch cartoons. We can all watch it except you. Huh. That seems pretty fair to me, JJ. And this is our bathroom where we 
washed and pooped. Ew, it smells like poop in here. Because I forgot to flush the toilet behind me. It doesn't matter. Now you'll be flushing the toilet for all of us. Hey, do it yourself. That's disgusting to me. You're adopted, JJ. You have to do whatever we say. Hey, come on. We'll show you Mikey's baby's room. Oh, I'm gonna sleep in there. Uh, I don't know. Come on, I'll show off my room. I'm gonna sleep in there, aren't I? Yes? This is going to be a surprise for you, JJ. Follow us. Oh, with your rules, I smell an underhang. This is our hallway between our rooms. It's cozy, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Show me my room already. A little later, JJ. Let's go to Mikey's room. It's super duper mega cool. Uh, okay, yeah, it's fun here too, but there's only one bed. Am I really gonna sleep with Mikey? Yes, the interior here is very expensive and cool. Where am I gonna sleep? What kind of surprise did you want to show me? Oh, yes, I completely forgot. What kind of surprise is that anyway? I need a place to sleep? Did you forget that when you adopted me? We haven't forgotten about it. We have the perfect place for your sleep. Um, I don't like your smile, okay? Show me the place. You're definitely gonna love this, JJ. We had a dog a very long time ago. What's that got to do with it? I want my own room, my own TV. How about Mikey moves out of his room? And why did we come outside? I'm getting my own house? Absolutely right. The whole house will be all yours. That's it. What? I'm gonna live in a dog box? Are you kidding me? It's your own house. You should be happy about that. Get in there. I think it's just your size. Oh my god, this is the worst day of my life. My room at the orphanage was so much better. What? You don't like it? Our dog loved this box. But I'm not a dog. I'm a human being. Shut up. You're adopted. Know your place, freak. You'll sleep where we say. Get in there and don't come out. Uh, okay. This place is cool, but please don't swear. I'm scared. What an ingrate. We should swear at him more often. Stay in there and don't come out. I hate you. Yeah, JJ. Then you're a very bad boy. I wish I could spit in your face. Get out. You have your own room. Ew, you're disgusting. I thought I was going to be friends with you, but I was wrong. To be friends with you is to be a complete idiot. Yeah, I didn't expect such a good reception. It's just awful. Friends, would you like to live in a dog box like this? Write about it in the comments. That's not good. The next day. Hey, guys, it's raining and it's too cold. It's a shame to live in a box like this. I decided to sneak into the house. At least it's a little warmer than outside. I'll still get noticed in that house, though. Maybe if I ask directly to wait out this night in the house, they'll let me in. Ugh, it's so cold outside. It's time to get inside quickly. After walking a couple of meters, I was already completely soaked. What kind of idiots am I living with? I shouldn't live on the street. And where are they now? Probably sleeping in their warm and cozy beds. Why don't I just sit in the kitchen all night? No, I want to sleep in bed. I have to wake them up. I hope they don't get mad when they see me here. I have to wake them up quietly, pat them on the shoulder, and very gently ask them to lie down next to you. There they are, from left to right. A family of freaks. I hate you so much. We have to stick to the plan. Wake them up quietly. Wake up! I'm cold! Stop sleeping. Your son is in trouble. What happened? What is he doing in our house? He's supposed to be sleeping outside. It's raining outside and very cold. We don't care about that. You're not allowed to come here. Get out! Now! You're so wet and smelly. Hey, that's not humane at all. I could get sick. It's really cold out there. You're not even our own son. You should live on the street like a stupid dog. Oh my god, you're all so mean! Get out of here! Don't disturb our sleep anymore! Oh my god, I have the most evil parents in the world. Friends, do you have good parents in your family? Write about it in the comments. Well, I'm going back to sleep in that dog box. I'm probably gonna get sick, and I'm gonna get even worse. But I don't have any other choice. How unlucky I am. Oh, hello, ma'am. Oh, my God. No way. A uh, some crazy woman out at this hour. I'll just ignore her. JJ, is it really you? How do you know my name? You don't remember me? I'm your real mom. You were taken from me a long time ago. I finally found you. Uh, that sounds kind of weird. Can you prove it? Well, you have a big mole on your arm, just like mine. Wow, it's true. You're my real mom. We finally got to meet. Do you live here? Like a dog? Who put you here? Those idiots who adopted me did it. They themselves are sleeping in a warm, big bed right now. That's horrible. Let's go live at my house. I've got tons of beds at home. Whoa, let's go, let's go, let's go. You're my real mom. I'd live on the street with you. Would your adoptive family be okay with that? I don't care about that at all. I don't even know why they took me from the orphanage. Let's hurry up and go to your house. I'm so cold outside. Come on. Oh, what's that yelling? Stop right there. You're our son. We ordered you to stay in the dog box. You can't go anywhere. That's my own son. Bye-bye, losers. You're so poor. You have have one bed for the whole family. Oh, really? They're so poor. They're such freaks. Bye-bye, freaks. You're definitely my birth mom. I love insulting people like that. Hee <laughs> hee.
Yuki, that's so fun and cool. I agree. Three hours later. Wow, this is your house? I was wondering about the last house. You're rich. Yes, I'm very rich. Now you're rich too, because you're my own son. You can also watch cartoons all day. Wow, cartoons. I wasn't allowed to do that in my last family. JJ, the only family you have now is you and me. That makes me happy, Mom. Come on in the house. You must have gotten soaked on the way here. Whoa, king in the palace, king in the palace. This is where I'm gonna live. So cool. There's so much space. There's so much space. I was so lonely living here by myself. You have me now, Mommy. I'll help you with anything you say. Huh, you don't have to help me. I've got it all. Food, entertainment, tons of other fun stuff. You just gotta take it and have fun. I think I've gone to paradise. This is where I usually play all sorts of arcade and video games on my Xbox. Seriously? You have an Xbox too? You're such a cool mom. And you're the coolest son I've ever had. Come on, I'll show you your own room. My own private room where only I will sleep? Yes, of course. I mean, that's just normal. Even Mikey sleeps with his parents in the same bed. I told you you'd have your own warm, big bed in your own room. I already want to take a look at it. Okay, this is where my own room is, and to the left will be yours. That's great. By the way, I forgot to tell you that there will also be your own personal computer where you can play computer games. Wow, this place is so cool. I couldn't even dream of having my own computer. And here's that bed. I remember your favorite color is red. You know me better than anyone, Mom. It's so soft and comfortable. Thank you so much for everything, Mom. I love you. I love you too, JJ. Take a break from this hard day. Good night. Good night to you too. Without you, I'd be very unhappy. How lucky I was to meet her this evening. Now I'm so excited to play on this computer. It's so cool. It must be very powerful. Minecraft won't lag. Well, the coolest thing about this place is the bed. I had a small crib in my orphanage. A couple hours ago, I had a dog box. And now a king bed a few moments later Christmas is coming. I remember always welcoming this magnificent holiday with my mom. Christmas is supposed to be celebrated with family, and I've been stuck here for a long time without family. It's kind of sad. Guys, hey everybody. My name is JJ. I'm trapped in this orphanage. It's Christmas already, and I still haven't been adopted. This is the little room I live in. It's pretty cozy, but I'd feel much better with my mom. It's a shame she's gone. I love and miss her so much. Without her, my life seems so lonely. But at least I have my viewers with me, for whom I keep releasing these videos. Hey, JJ, I can congratulate you. Your new family is here to adopt you. What, are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. You're not living here now. But my mom has to take me away from here. She's not taking you. You've been living here too long. No, I don't want a new family. I don't care what you want. You're going to live with them. It's settled. You don't get it, do you? These aren't real parents. They'll treat me badly. Hello, there's that boy. His name is JJ. No, I'm not that boy. He's a funny boy. We're taking him. I wonder if all speaker men are so noisy. I'd like to adopt him. I'm not your toy. We don't care. You'll be our second son, and this is your brother. Hi, my name's Mikey. I hope you two get along. We'll be a strong and happy family. I don't think so. Oh, come on. You're gonna have fun with me. That's what I'm afraid of. Don't be afraid. You'll get used to him. He's gonna be a goody-goody. I don't get it. You're going to discipline me now, aren't you? I'm not going to obey you. We're going to raise him well. You can punish him and hit him a little. Otherwise, he won't listen to anyone. That's that's what we were going to do. Mikey, you can rejoice. You're gonna have your own assistant. That's cool. You're gonna make my bed and put away my toys. But it's all wrong. I'll be a housewife in their house. I'd rather stay at the orphanage than go to them. Enough talk. Pack this kid up and send him on his way. We'll take him. This boy is going to be my Christmas present. Thanks, Mom. Nothing's too good for you, Mikey. Of course, everything for our favorite son. Favorite son? Of course they're favorite. Foster children are always loved less than their birth children. But that's not fair. I want to be with my birth Earth mom, not my foster mom. And I don't like TV men at all. Oh, you don't like TV men? Why is that? In our family, you will love us dearly. I will never love you. I only have one mother. I'll never have another. Behave yourself, JJ. You can't go back. Goodbye. Bye-bye. I hate you too. God, you got some words, JJ. We don't allow that kind of language in our house. Yes, swearing is forbidden. Otherwise, we'll punish you. Okay, I hope I can get away from you. It was too hard to do that at the orphanage. What did you say, JJ? Uh, I didn't say anything. You imagined it. <laughs> I heard that. You're a funny guy. You and I are going to be friends. Three hours later. There's our house. You're going to live here now. That's pretty good. Hope you enjoy your stay with us, JJ. Where's he going to
gonna get away from us, huh? I don't like what you're saying. You'll have a much better life here than in your orphanage. You're our son now, too. We will love and care for you just like we did in the last family. No one will take care of me like my real mom. Oh, stop whining already. It's gonna be okay. Let's go inside already. It's getting cold in here. Okay, I'm really freezing out here. Huh, you're such a softy, JJ. I'm a softy? Try living without your parents for a couple years. Oh, we understand it hasn't been easy for you all this time. Now you have us. You can start loving us. Yeah, you can do that right now. Yep, just dropped everything and started loving you from that second. And here you have a cozy and spacious place. Not like my little room at the orphanage. Yeah, you should forget about the orphanage. And also forget about your mom. What did you just say? If you misbehave, you'll live in the basement. Oh, that's kind of cruel of you. But you're behaving acceptably so far. And this is where the restroom is. If you want to poop really badly, you can go here. Oh, really? It's like I don't know what a toilet's for. It was just a joke, JJ. And this is where we have the TV where we watch cartoons. You're not allowed to do that yet. If you behave, you can watch it for 10 minutes a day. 10 minutes a day? Really? Okay. And there's our fireplace. You can warm your hands sometimes if you get cold. I got it. Cool fireplace, I'll say. And this is where we have the dining room table. We all eat with our family. Now you're going to eat with us. Oh, I'm just hungry. Hopefully dinner is about to be upon us. And these are our candles. We put them on when we pray to the Lord God. We're a pretty religious family. Oh, that's not good. And this is the Christmas tree. There's going to be a whole bunch of presents for you and Mikey. Hopefully I'll have more gifts to give. No, I'll have more presents. Let's see your behavior. Either we buy presents equally or Mikey gets more. Um, I don't like that kind of thing. I like it a lot, so behave badly next time. No, I'll be on my best behavior. Come on, we'll show you the second floor. Okay, let's go. I wonder what's in there. The whole second floor belongs to Mikey. But don't take offense. There's a corner for you too. Okay, that makes me happy. Where am I gonna sleep? Sleep? Huh, you'll find out later. Here's Mikey playing on the computer, playing with toys and taking a break from school. So I don't get it. Where am I gonna sleep? Uh, sleep? Oh, we didn't think of that. That slipped our minds. Don't worry. We have a place for you. That's what's scaring me. We have a crib in the closet. You'll sleep there. Uh, are you serious? I'm gonna sleep in the closet? Yeah, you're gonna live here. It's really cool. But this room is even smaller than my old room at the orphanage. Don't swear like that. You'll get used to it. You're a very lucky man, JJ. You'll have your own room room all to yourself. Why can't I sleep next to Mikey? I don't want to sleep in the closet. Mikey's space is tight as it is. Stop whining. What do you mean I'm whining? It's not cool to sleep in a hole like this. You're gonna love it here, JJ. Not everything comes at once. Good night to you, Mom, Dad. Good night. Good night. Thank you for sleeping outside. I don't know why you're so upset. It's its own closet with a door. No one will see what you do in here at night. What are you even implying? What am I supposed to do here at night except sleep? Uh, uh, JJ, you're so young and you don't understand anything. Good night to you. Sleep well. Okay, I still don't get you. Good night to you too, Mikey. Go back to sleep. I'm gonna go play some computer games. I'm allowed to play at night. Oh, really? Okay. Friends, do you have a big, big room? Write about it in the comments. And it's time for me to put my stuff in here. I don't have much, though. All I have with me is a picture of my favorite mom that I've been waiting for for years. I hope you show up someday and take me in. I'm surrounded by people who only want to hurt me. You're the only one I trust in this world, mom. Now I'd better go to sleep. Good night to you. The next day. What a realistic dream I had. It was like my mom came back for me and took me back. Too bad it was just a dream. I wonder if anyone's awake yet. Mikey's awake and playing on his computer. I'd like to play too. Hey Mikey, what are you playing at? Can I join you? I'm playing an intellectually stimulating game. Not everyone can play that. Wow, cool. I've never played one of these before. Can I try to play too? No, you're adopted. You can't play this game. I'm the only one playing it. Oh, well, okay. It's weird, but I can understand that. I'm gonna go downstairs and see what the foster parents are doing. Maybe they have something interesting going on over there. Wow, they are decorating the Christmas tree. How beautiful. Hi, you guys are doing great. Hey, JJ, thank you. You are very kind. We're getting ready for our favorite holiday. Therefore, we take a responsible approach to this business. Wow, how many gifts you've made. Are these presents for me and Mikey? Well, what do you think? I think Mikey and I have gifts here. You're absolutely right. There are presents for both of you. There's a lot of them. Cool. Thank you so much. JJ, we have an assignment for you. Here's some money for you. Please go to the store, JJ. We need to get some groceries for dinner. Take whatever you want to eat. Okay, I'll pick out everything for a lovely dinner. 
I'll be right there. Don't lose me. Goodbye. Bye. I love the holidays so much. I love getting presents. Do you guys like getting them? Okay. I gotta run to the grocery store because I'm starving and I wouldn't mind a good meal. Let's go get some food. The fastest. Moments later. Oh, I love winter. It gets so beautiful here. Do you guys like winter? Write your favorite season in the comments. And I have to go home now. How beautiful our house looks under the falling snow. I gotta run home. They're probably waiting for me by now. And I wouldn't mind eating something. Look how beautiful the Christmas tree looks along with the presents. Oh, JJ is finally back. Hi, did you buy everything? Did it all work out? Yes, I bought everything. I think I made a great choice. Thank you. Yay. You have helped us a lot. Cool. Now you can go up to your room and lie on your bed in peace. Okay. I'm gonna go do some thinking of my own. There's nothing to do anyway. All right, JJ, go ahead. It's so weird how they treat me, to be honest. I don't even know if it's good or bad. Wow, Mikey has so many toys. I'd love to play with him too. Hey, Mikey, can I play with you? How do you think? I think I can. I don't think so. How many times have I told you? You're adopted. You're not allowed to play on the computer or play with me. But why? I won't ruin anything for you. I'll say it again. Because you're adopted. That's a very strange thing to say. Hey, kids. Dinner's on the table. Come on, let's go. Because we've been hungry for a while now and it smells so good downstairs. Let's go. I'm hungry too. We're just about to have another little surprise for you that we prepared with Daddy. Finally. I've been waiting for this day for so long. Okay. Are we forgetting anything? It's like we're forgetting to say something. Uh, I don't think so. All right, let's go downstairs already. When I remember, I'll be sure to tell you. Good. I don't mind going downstairs myself. We're taking a long time to eat. Look at the beauty we've prepared. Tonight at the holiday table, we'll be eating piggy. How weird it looks, but it does smell really good. Let's all sit down at the table. We're having a full family dinner tonight. Tonight after we eat, I'm going to give you little gifts. Daddy and I have been doing all this all day today. That's just great. Let's hurry up and eat so we don't waste any time. But mom, let's get the presents first, and then we can eat in peace. All right, Mikey, you can go look. Your presents are under the Christmas tree. Look at all the things we've made. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. Thank you so much. I'm so happy to have so many gifts. Yes, thank you so much. I've never had so many gifts before. It's unbelievable. You're welcome, Mikey. But JJ, these presents are for Mikey, not you. Then where are my presents? I want one too. Don't worry, we've got a present for you too. Here it is. Cool. Here you go, JJ. Oh, what? You're welcome to use it. But it's just a regular banana. You gave Mikey this much and I get one banana? Yeah, that's what happened. Are you Mikey glad you got so many presents? Of course I am. Why don't you go to your closet? We'll have a threesome without you. You're awful. You can't do that to children. I am very upset and offended by you. You're very bad. Oh my God, they're messing with me. It's times like this that I realize I have no one but you, Mom. Why did you leave me? Don't you need me at all? Have I been a bad son to you? I'd do anything to see you again. I don't know if you need me now, but I need you more than ever. Oh, what is that? Someone's ringing the doorbell? Did she hear my pleas? I have to open the door. I don't want to stay in this house anymore. I'm a total stranger here. No one loves me. Okay, who's there? Mom? Is it really you? Hey, JJ, I'm sorry I've been gone so long. I rushed to you as fast as I could. The teacher told me the address of the people who took you in. That's how I found you. And this is your Christmas present. Oh my God, Mom, you're the best. You're my most treasured Christmas present. Thank you for coming to me. Take this. Merry Christmas, JJ. Thank you so much. This is the best holiday of my life. I'm not going anywhere from you now, JJ. Come with me. It's my pleasure, Mom. I'll go to the ends of the earth with you. I'm so glad you're back with me. Let's go celebrate this this wonderful holiday together. Wouldn't that family be against it? We don't care about them at all. They're strangers to us. And you're a stranger to them too. You're always right, Mom. I have no one in this life but you. I love you, Mom. I love you too, JJ. Let's go home. It's getting cold outside. Yes, it's time to go to my real home. And I'm going to keep this house for Mikey. He'll be much better off without me. Let's go to the bus stop. We have some big news today. Today is the best day ever. It's Mikey and me's birthday today. Yay. Yay. Mikey, what do you think our parents have in store for us? Maybe a lot of gifts? Yes, I'm sure they will give me lots of gifts. Wow, I'm going to have a lot of gifts then too. It's a birthday. I wish I had lots of presents, more than you. But Mikey. Let's go to breakfast. It's probably ready by now. Mikey, wait. It's not just your birthday. It's my birthday too. Oh, huh. Which means we have to have the same number of gifts. So you're saying you'll have as many gifts as I do? Of course you and I are on an equal footing. That's not 
gonna happen, JJ? Uh, I'll have 100% more gifts. Our parents love me more than they love you. Come on, Mikey. Well... Come on, let's go to breakfast. Yes, I agree. I'm a bit tired of arguing about this topic and very hungry. Let's go. There's no point in arguing because I'm just as loved as you are. Mom, good morning. Good morning. Wow, our birthday boys are awake. But darling... Of course it's not your birthday today. But we thought we'd treat you now anyway. We're all going to the toy store together tomorrow. This is going to be fun. We'll get you both all the toys you want. Cool. Oh! Now it's time for breakfast. Yeah, I'm hungry. Are we going to have cake? Yes, there will be cake, but tomorrow... Yay! I made the best breakfast ever for you. Let's go eat. I'm so hungry. Wow, Mom, the table is full of food. Thank you. You're welcome. It's all for the both of you, so enjoy. Yes, bon appetit. Oh, Mom, that's just beautiful. Your mom spent hours cooking. Wow, good for Mom. I'm already looking forward to tomorrow. Time has come. He he he. JJ has no idea what I'm up to. JJ argued with me that he would have just as many gifts, but that's not going to happen. Today, I'm going to make sure you don't have any gifts at all. You can sleep well tonight, all right, but this is your last good night, brother. Because I have one thing that will help me change everything. Whoa ha ha. Now we'll see who won and who lost. Come on, Jean, come out of your lamp and make my wishes come true. Uh, I think I saw a guy do that in a cartoon. Hmm, rub the lamp with your hand and Jin will come out. Come on, I need all your magic power. So where's my score? Where's my Jean? <laughs> ah, my dear little friend, you got me out of the lamp, so I will fulfill your three wishes. Wow, I was beginning to think it wasn't all true. Nice. Jean, listen to my first wish. Mm, I'm listening. I wish I got more presents than my brother JJ. Mm, okay, what else would you like? And I want to be loved a lot more than JJ. Lately he keeps saying we are loved equally. Hmm. Oh, well... Uh, you have one last wish left, so think twice before you make it. Hmm. Okay, I'll think about it. This should be something that's good for you. Oh, right. I want my own room. Oh, my God. I want this whole room to be just mine. And let JJ live in the pantry. All right, little boy. I'll fulfill your wishes. Tomorrow you'll have another life waiting for you. Hmm. Ooh. Um, I thought he was going to do it all at once, but come on. If it's the way I want it tomorrow, that's even better. I'm already interested to see JJ's reaction tomorrow. I think he's going to be so jealous. After all, tomorrow is the best holiday for me, and the worst holiday for him! Ah, <coughs> uh, I slept so well tonight. Uh, where am I? Wait, wait, this isn't my room. Why am I here? Is this some kind of joke? I'm in our closet, but why? I remember falling asleep in my room. Can't parents make a joke like that? But it's my birthday, right? Uh, where's my bed anyway? And why does everything look like Mikey's room? Oh my god, this is all very strange. I'll have to ask mom and dad what's going on here. Wow, they're almost all set for the party. Just a couple more details. Mom, why did I wake up in the closet? Oh, what's that? Is this some kind of joke? I woke up in the pantry and my bed wasn't in the, the room. The sun's not fully up and our sleep. You have no right to sleep with our favorite Go son. Go finish cooking Mikey's cake. Wait, what? This cake right here. See? Uh... This is your only assignment for today, so don't mess it up. But mom, it's my birthday too. Oh, hmm. Oh, who's awake? Uh... Where are my presents? Oh, my favorite. I didn't sleep very well, hmm. so I hope you prepared a lot of presents for me. Sure, here are your gifts. Look over there. Uh, oh my god! Uh, this is kind of weird. What do you mean? How many presents are there? There are exactly 36 gifts here just for our favorite son, Mikey. What? I mean, 36. <laughs> Last year, you got me 37 presents. Huh, what? How can you explain that, huh? Uh, oh, Mikey, we're all going to go to the store together right now and buy you another gift. Isn't that too many gifts for him alone? Only for you. All right, I agree. Wait, what's this all about? Have you figured out what you want to buy yet? I I want a $1,000 toy car. Cool, let's go to the store. Wait, what about me? Don't even think about coming with us. Dad. You belong here. Finish cooking the cake and clean the house. But I want to go. Are you stupid? Mikey. You can't come with us. Why? You have no right to even talk to me. Stop. Go make me a delicious cake. Clean the whole house and then go to your pantry. Oh. Did I say that right, Mom and Dad? Yes, you did the right thing. Well then, shall we go to the store? Yeah, let's go. I don't understand. What did I do? JJ, stop following us. Hmm. You heard everything you need to do. But Mom. We'll be there soon, so finish cooking the cake. Cake. Get the house sparkling clean. Come on, JJ. Uh, okay. It's so strange and incomprehensible. Why our parents' attitude towards me has changed so drastically. It's all very strange. I'll spit in the middle of the cake to show my displeasure. Three hours later. Hello again, friends. I've been here for the last hour finishing this cake. I've never made a cake before. I put a bunch of pepper and salt in it. I think it's going to be good. Of course, I'm not going to eat it. I don't understand why I didn't get a single gift, and Mikey was given such a mountain of gifts. It's not fair. Oh, they're here already. 
Thank you for the 37th gift. Now I'm satisfied. Anything for you, Mikey. Now you can eat your birthday cake. Yeah, it's ready. You can try it. I'm sure it's delicious. Yeah, JJ did his best here. At least you can do something silly. I can do a lot of things. Let's get to the cake. Mikey, take a bite. Okay, okay, we're tasting it now. What's this? I wanted a cherry cake, and this cake has some kind of pepper, and it stinks. It doesn't stink. I don't know. It looks like a normal cake. No, that's not okay. JJ screwed it up again. This cake is terrible. But I tried. It's a good cake. No, you ruined the cake. No one's gonna eat it. You must be punished. Go to the closet and stay there for the rest of my birthday. Mom, am I right? JJ must be punished. Yeah, Mikey's right. JJ, you're grounded. Get in the closet and stay in there. You ruined Mikey's birthday party. What? Mom, are you serious? We don't like you. Get out of here. Go away. We don't love you, JJ. You're the worst son in the world. Okay, whatever you say, it's a shame, you know. Go away. You've ruined my favorite son's party. Go away. We don't love you. You're disgusting. Your cake stinks and you stink too. Go away already. I don't want to look at you. All right. I hope you all choke on this cake. It was all so good yesterday. Oh, what is that? That thing looks like a gin lamp. And why is that lamp by Mikey's bed? I don't believe in magic, but my parents have been acting really weird lately. I should take that lamp back to my closet. Maybe I can take it all back so my parents will love me again. Guys, if you had a genie lamp, what three wishes would you ask for? Write about it in the comments. And I need to take this lamp to my place so Mikey or my parents don't see me. I'm gonna get punished again. Okay, I read a story that you have to rub a lamp three times to make it work. A genie will come out of there and he'll help me. Okay, let's get started. One, two, three. So where's that gin? I'm coming out now. You don't have to hit the lamp so hard. What kind of habit do you all have? Oh my god, a real gin? Yeah, I'm a real gin, and I will grant you three wishes. That's awesome. Okay, my first wish is that I want Mikey and I to split gifts. Gifts? Okay, you'll get an equal number of gifts. It's done. Oh, already? Okay, cool. For my second wish, I want my parents to love us equally as much. Doesn't it feel good to be unloved? I understand. You got it. Now tell me your third last wish. Hmm, let me think about it. Third wish. I want to share a room with Mikey again. Do you still want to live with him after everything he's done? Okay, all your wishes are spent, and now it's bye-bye forever. I can't believe all the wishes have been granted, but I'll hope for the best. Hopefully our parents will love me again and Mikey's wishes will stop working. See you next morning. Ooh, it's so good to sleep in this room on my own bed again. It looks like Mikey is still asleep and hasn't noticed me. I'll have to wake him up and make him happy that we are now living like we used to. Okay, Mikey, wake up. Good morning, my dear brother. Oh, uh, what? Who's waking me up, JJ? Why are you in this room? And now we can. This is the common room. What? Are you out of your mind? Go sleep in your closet. This is my room. The closet? No, I don't sleep there anymore. I'm sleeping next to you in that bed over there now. But you can't sleep here. Your parents have forbidden you to be here. You belong in the closet. I'm going to tell them. Go ahead, try it. So I'll go and tell them. You'll be punished again. Go and tell them. I'm never sleeping in the closet again. What makes you think they won't beat you up? They banned you in front of me yesterday. What's going on? You left the gin lamp by your bed. Mom, Dad, JJ's disobeying you again. He slept in my room tonight. Punish him. Sleeping in your room? What's the big deal? But you said he should sleep in the closet. What? We didn't say anything like that. You and JJ share a room. You two sleep there together. What's the problem? I don't want to share a room with him. Tell him to sleep in the closet. What? In the closet? Are you crazy? It's not going to happen. Happen. No, Mikey, it's your brother. Apologize to him right now. Okay, JJ, please forgive me for wanting to move you into the closet. I'm sorry for what I did. I won't do it again. Okay, Mikey, I forgive you. You're my brother. I love you. That's it. From now on, live peacefully. Okay, Mom, we're not gonna fight anymore. That's great. It's so good to see you two being friendly again. Yeah, you're both good. We love you equally, children. Don't think we have a favorite. You got us? Yes, of course. We love you guys so much, too. I love you, too. Oh, that's great. And my dad and I have to go to the store. I hope you don't get into any more trouble while we're gone. Okay, we'll try not to screw it up. Bye-bye, Mom. Bye-bye dad. Goodbye, get some burgers. Bye. Okay, we'll get burgers. Cool, I'm getting burgers. They love me more. Bye, JJ. Bye, Mikey. We love you both. Did you hear that? They love us both. I think you imagined it. JJ, let's open our birthday presents. There's an equal split between you and me. Oh, that's awesome. Let's open them. But you have 18 gifts and I have 19, so I'm really loved more. Oh, Mikey, one gift doesn't count. It counts, but you better forget about it. Let's watch cartoons. Oh, cartoons. That's a great idea, Mikey. I love cartoons. Patrick and SpongeBob are so funny and friendly, just like you and me, Mikey. Yes, I agree. You're like Patrick. Because I'm red? No, because you're as stupid as Patrick. Ah, never mind. The next morning. We have to go to school. Stop talking. Going back to this place again. I'd rather go for a walk somewhere. JJ, stop whining. Let's get to class or you'll be suspended for truancy again. You're lecturing me again? What are you going to say this time? Uh, I'm gonna tell you to subscribe to the channel. What do you mean? I just read it off the board. Oh yeah, I completely forgot. Guys, subscribe to the channel. This sign comes in handy. By the way,
Hey, don't forget to like this video. It's also written on the sign. And don't forget to do it at all. Yeah, I don't know what that's doing here, but we should get to class now. I agree with you, JJ. Let's go sit in our seats already. By the way, have you seen our sister Am Fow? Nope, I haven't seen her. Where could she be? She's probably in the classroom by now. Then we can make fun of her. Oh, I really like it. I don't like our sister at all. She's such a great student. She does all her homework. She's such a good girl. It makes me nervous. There she sits and she can't even hear hear us. Here's some snowballs for you. Nah, take that. Eat the snow. Hee hee hee, she's so stupid. Hey, why are you throwing things at me? You're distracting me from my studies. Ha ha ha, what a weirdo. It was frustrating. That's what we wanted. Keep throwing it at her, JJ. Come on, Mikey. Throw everything you got at her. What a loser she is. We're such pranksters. You two idiots who are interfering with my studies, I will call the teacher right now. Huh, no one wants you at all. Nobody's gonna help you. And Ampho stinks. Can you smell it? Air out the classroom. All right, kids, quiet everybody. Oh, is she for us? Attention, tomorrow is a very important and difficult test. Please prepare for it. Whoever fails this test will be kicked out of school as too stupid. Looks like we have a problem. Anyway, you have to study for the test yourself. I'm too lazy to teach you. She won't be helping us yet. We're definitely going to fail this test. Lesson's over. Let's go home, Mikey. We need to figure something out. What can we figure out? I mean, we haven't done any homework at all. It can't be so bad. I don't know what we're going to do. I think we should ask our parents parents what we should do. You think they're so smart? They'll probably say it's our problem. Maybe they'll have some ideas. Who else can help us? I think maybe we should make cheat sheets. They'd at least give us a chance to get a decent grade on the test. No, Mikey! We've done this before. Yeah, the teacher scolded us so much in front of our parents. Hey. Hey guys, wait for me. Let's go play dolls together. I promise it'll be fun. What kind of dolls? Such pink and cute little dolls. Oh, we're adults already. We're not gonna play with some little kid like Ow. you. Go Ow. away. No Ow. one wants to play Ow. with you. Go and play with your dolls alone. What a stupid girl. I will avenge you for this. Boys don't play dolls. Boys play with cars. Let her remember it once and for all. We made fun of her pretty good. She's so naive and silly. But I don't even feel sorry for her for that. Yeah, me too. Let's go home now, JJ. We have to figure out what to do about the test tomorrow. Let's go. Oh my god, this is so delicious. Yeah, our mom can cook good food. Glad to hear it, kids. Our mom's food is the most delicious in the world. By the way, where's Ampho? She'll be home from school soon. Don't you two go home together? No, she's too dumb. Hey, everybody, I'm home. It smells so good in here. How did you get home later than us? I'm just a slow walker. She's also a slow thinker. By the way, we have a very important test at school tomorrow. Chances are we'll write it very poorly. We don't know what to do. Mom, Dad, maybe you have a solution. I would hire a repeater and prepare pair with him. Hire a tutor? And where would we find one? How about me? I have prepared well for the test and I can help you. That's a good idea. No, you can't do anything. You're a stupid little girl. You don't know anything and you can't do it. Hey, why do they always have to be so mean to me? Because you only have dolls on your mind. You're both rude. I took offense. Go to your room and cry into your pillow. Hey, Amphow, come back. It's so easy to chase her away. Kids, you can't do that. She's your sister. I forbid you to be so rude to her. You did a bad thing. Huh, we had a normal conversation. We have a lot of fun hanging out with her, or rather, mocking her. Maybe she's crying alone right now. Hurting little ones is bad. Ha <laughs> ha, so let her stay away from us. Yeah, it's her fault we're teasing her. Mikey's right. You don't have to be such a clingy and annoying girl. Never mind. I'm so sick of them bullying me. I should teach them a lesson. What if I did? I've got a brilliant idea. I want to make them pissed off to their max. They just didn't turn off their computer. This is the perfect opportunity to take advantage of their inattention. They'll be sorry for being so mean to me. They are just having trouble with the test tomorrow. I think I'll look for the worst ad selling fake test answers for them. Buy answers inexpensively, fast, guarantee 100%, cheap and fast again. I'll find the weirdest and most unreliable ad for them. They'll definitely fall for it. Okay, I think I found it, cool. Yum, 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 this is so good. Yeah, JJ, I can't get enough of this deliciousness. Yeah, kids, you're always so hungry after school. It's time for you to study for your test. Oh, by the way, we totally forgot about him. Yeah, we're full. It's time to start thinking about school. Let's go find us a tutor. But Mikey, where are we gonna find him? Uh, JJ, I have to teach you everything. You can find a tutor online. He'll tutor us quickly. 
quickly on Discord and will do well on the test tomorrow. Oh, really? Is that possible? Yes, you can. Everything's for sale on the internet these days. That's awesome, Mikey. Whoa, look, some kind of advertisement just popped up. But I didn't open anything. It just came up on its own. As you can see, yes. Buy answers for the school test for only 10 bucks? Whoa, just in time. JJ, don't you find that suspicious? I don't care at all, Mikey. This is our chance to write this test right. But I don't know if I even have that kind of money. We can split the purchase in half. I pay five bucks and you pay five bucks. You have that much money, don't you? Yeah, that's all the money I've saved lately. Only five bucks? Mm-hmm. Wow, that's a lot of money. I've always had money problems, but I'll give my share. I hope you have that kind of money. Five bucks. Well, uh, I should go through my drawer. Maybe I can scrounge up some of my coins. Well, well, well. I'm having money problems, too. Although I think I have an extra dollar somewhere. Yes, I have money. Five dollars exactly. We have the right amount. That's cool. Now we can buy ready-made exam answers. All that's left to do is make a phone call to arrange a purchase. It's so good. I don't even have to learn anything. We're so sneaky, Mikey. Only I'm afraid to talk to that guy on the phone. Why don't you make the call? Okay, Mikey. I'll call him myself since you're such a little chicken. It don't matter. Just make the call. Okay. Cluck, 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 cluck. That seems to be the number. There's still a little bit left. Hi, who's that calling? Hello. We're calling from an ad. Are you selling school test answers? Yeah, this is me selling. Would you like to buy it? Yes, we want to buy. It's very urgent. And meet at 1 a.m. at the park entrance. Come alone. No parents or police. It's perfect. We'll wait till my parents are asleep and make a quick run over there. Yes, Mikey, the plan is perfect. Just don't yell like that again. Otherwise, Amphow or the parents will hear us. Okay, Mikey. Okay, I think everyone's asleep. We need to move as quickly as possible. The lights in parents' bedroom and Amfo's room are already off. Everyone's asleep. We've got the whole night to ourselves, but let's not waste too much time. Let's go. Come on, Mikey. We already have the money we need. You know, Mikey, we're like criminals. In the middle of the night, we're buying some illegal product. I don't think we're going to get arrested for that. So the entrance to the park is kind of right here. I don't know. I've never been here. This place is kind of weird. Yes, I agree. At least there's no extra witnesses to our deal. Afraid our teacher will see you? No, JJ. I'm afraid of this place. It's creepy. Yes, but this is the place the salesman named. Well, where does he go? How long do we have to wait for him? He should be here any minute. Okay, that's good. Give me all your money. I'll give it to him in one pile right away. Okay, that's even more convenient. You know, JJ, we could have gotten 10 burgers for that money. Yeah, Mikey. That's a lot of money for us. I've never held such a huge amount of money in my hands. It's exactly 1 a.m. So right now, he's supposed to come out of nowhere. Right out of nowhere? Yeah, right from here. Hey, kids, did you bring money with you? Uh, wow. You are, how should I say? Are you black? Yes, I'm black. Any problems? No, it's okay. Then give your money here, now! Okay, okay, don't scream. Here's your money. Do you have the answers to the test? What? A test? Yes, we agreed with you. Oh, yeah, I completely forgot. Here are the answers to your school test. I know people at school. Just don't tell anyone about this deal. Okay, thank you. Bye, guys. Study hard next time. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. It's a pleasure doing business with you. <laughs> That's it, JJ. That wasn't so hard. Now we can write this test without any problems. Oh, we are so cool. We're also very smart. Now we'll never have to do our homework by ourselves again. It's easier to copy it or buy it from someone else. Yeah, we can buy that stuff more often from this black guy. That's a cool dude. Very cool. <laughs> This is it, the moment of truth. Today, we will write this test and get the best grades in the class. I hope that guy gave us the right answers. We gave him a lot of money. For that kind of money, the answers would be perfect. Then let's go and write that stupid test. Let's go, JJ. The teacher won't even suspect our idea. She's too dumb to even think about it. Whoa, JJ, look, there's a joke in there. What kind of joke? Like and subscribe? What does that mean? JJ, don't you remember? We saw the same sign yesterday. Go ahead, mess around in your empty head. Wow, isn't that a call to subscribe to our channel? Also like our videos. Let's go to class or we'll be late. Let's go, JJ. Friends, I hope you like every video we make. And you, Mikey, do you like our videos? Yeah, I put a like under every video. Nice work, Mikey. Let's go to class. If we don't write this test, we'll have to repeat a year at this school. And that's what they do to the dumbest students.
students. And we're the smartest, but we don't want to show it. We are invisible geniuses. Yeah, it's going to be a big test. There are so many tasks. Hey, everybody, pay attention to the test. Mikey, JJ, I wish you good luck. Thank you so much. We're going to need it. It's the only thing that will help you today. Does she think we're so dumb that we're incapable of writing the test ourselves? She's right, JJ. We're not going to write the test ourselves. OK, let's get out our sheets and start filling in our answers. Just don't let the teacher see you. She doesn't care about anything. Then it's easier for us. I've already solved half the test. Two hours later. Congratulations to all of you for writing this difficult test. That's exactly what she says about us. Everyone wrote the test very well. I'm so proud of you. She's the one who's proud of us. You guys are really smart. Except you two, you don't have a single correct answer. You're the dumbest in the class. And you're also staying for your sophomore year. By the way, I'm calling your parents to the school. Two idiots. I hope you don't socialize with them unless you want to be dumbed down like that. How's that? Oh my god, this is so bad. That guy gave us the wrong answers. But how so? We gave him ten whole dollars. That's a lot of money for us, but it was a scam. Parents are probably not going to be happy about this. Mikey, but what do we do now? Do we stay a sophomore year? It's such a shame. What else are we supposed to do? Just study and try to pass the test on our own. I don't think we're going to find that weird guy in black. And if we do, we're not going to do anything to him. He 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 he. I got the best grade ever. I'm so smart. What's up, guys? How was your test? I don't see a smile on your faces. What are you talking about? She's suspiciously happy. Because it was me. I opened that website on your computer selling test answers. I got my revenge. She's getting back at us? We'll show her. What are you talking about? Prepare to be retaliated against, Amphal. You're gonna regret Ow. doing this Ow. to us. Ouch. We're your brothers. You shouldn't have set us up. That's enough. You're hurting me. And you hurt us with what you did. Stop right there. You think you're gonna run away from us? It's a harmless joke. Now we're going to show you a bigger joke. You know, darling, the day I met you was a very lucky day. To meet such a beautiful, charming, and good woman like you is a great blessing. Oh, honey, it's a great blessing for me, too, to have such a good and loving husband. We've been married for ten years. Those years have flown by so fast. It feels like I met you yesterday. Yes, honey. I enjoy spending time with you so much that I don't notice it passing. I'm so glad to have you in my life. I hope we continue to be together for the rest of our lives. Yeah, that's a good idea. Oh, are we filming already? It's our parents' wedding anniversary. We want to congratulate them. Yes, we're very happy for them. Ten years of marriage together is not easy. Oh, hi, kids. Happy anniversary to you. Oh, thank you. Congratulations to you too, Dad. Thanks, JJ. You two make a great married couple. We wish you to continue to be so good. Yes, you're the best. We're really lucky to have parents. Such beautiful, kind, and loving parents are very rare, you know. Ouch! Oh my god, what is that? A soccer ball in the restaurant? Who's playing in the restaurant? <laughs> That's us. We kicked him good. Hey, let's keep being naughty. <laughs> let's go. What a bunch of annoying little kids. Yes, it's unpleasant. I'm so sick of little kids like that. Good thing you're not like them. Yes, we are older and smarter. Why don't we go home already? Yes, it's long overdue. Plus, it's so much cozier at home. Yes, you're right as always. It's a good thing we don't have little ones in our family like those. Yeah, that's right. Good thing we're all adults here. I don't think Mikey, as an adult, would want to have kids. No, children are good. It's good when they grow up. I hate babies that are too small. I'm going home. Let's go, kids. You know, Mikey, you used to be so little, too. I don't remember that. I was already smart and grown up from birth. You're funny, Mikey. I'm older than you, and I remember when you were just as annoying. Whew, we're finally home. Yeah, it was a good day. Yeah, we had a good one. It's already cold outside. Come home already. I wanted to take another walk, but okay, let's go home. I was just remembering how cute you guys were when you were little. We were very happy when you were born. Yes, put all the love and care into you. You keep on loving and caring for us, don't you? Uh, sure, but in a different way. What do you mean different? Because you're adults. You can't be babysat anymore. And sometimes we wish we could. Dad? I give you permission to babysit me and carry me around in your arms. I want to do that too. Kids, we love you, but babysitting is different now than it used to be. All right then, I didn't really feel like it. The most important thing is that we love each other, no matter how old we are. Huh, Mikey, I imagined you as a 40-year-old man. How would our parents love you? They would continue to buy me candies. Bedtime candy is bad for you. It's time for you to go to bed. How about we play some more? Yes, I don't want to sleep. I want to play with toys. No, 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 that's out of the question. You have to sleep at night, not play. It's it's too early for bedtime. Is it too late? It's midnight. You should be asleep by now. So go to bed quickly. And without any toys before bedtime. All right. Well, we can sleep if that's what you want. Mikey, good night to you. Sleep tight. And may you have very good dreams. Oh, thank you. Same to you. Hey, can you say good night to me too? Yes, of course, JJ. With wishes like that, I will sleep very deeply. Good night anyway. Yeah, get a good night's sleep there. 
I hope you enjoyed it. Good night to you too, Mom and Dad. Yeah, good night to you. Yeah, let's get a good night's sleep. We're all very tired this day. Yeah, go to your bedroom already. Oh, that was rude. Yeah, that was rude. But I don't take offense to my kids because I love them. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. You know, JJ, it's a good thing we get all the love from our parents. I wouldn't want to give it all to anyone else. Good night, JJ. Yeah, I agree with you, Mikey. Good night to you too. Yeah, I'm getting a little sleepy too. The next day. Eh, it's a nice day outside. It's a good day to do something outside the house, huh? Yes, we obviously need to do something. Kids, bye-bye. We're going out. Don't miss us. Although I don't know if they're awake this early at all. What are we doing today? We just went out for a walk and a break from our kids. You know, I was thinking last night about what we discussed after the restaurant. What do you think about that? I do miss when Mikey and JJ were babies. Yes, those were good moments. I agree. Oh, who's the cutie? Honey, come here. Look at that little girl. Isn't that a little miracle sitting there? Oh, you're right. That is a very cute little girl. She's very nice. I'm Ampha. It's so sad and lonely to play alone in toys. I wish I had a family of my own. What a shame I'm an orphan. Honey, did you hear that? She's an orphan. We can take her in. She's so cute. Are you sure you want to adopt her? Yes, I'm sure of it. She's absolutely wonderful. I want her to be my daughter. If you're so sure of that, then I agree. She certainly won't be lonely in our family. Especially since we already have kids. I'm sure they will be friends with each other. We need to meet her. We have to get her to like us. Just try not to be rude to her. Oh, hi there. You two are so beautiful. Are you here to adopt me? Are you my new parents? Because I'm all alone. Um, hi there. We're really thinking about being your parents. Yes, we'd like to adopt you, if that's okay with you. We really liked you. Woo, I agree to be your daughter. That's great. Then let's go to our house. Yes, you have my word you'll love it here. You're part of our family now. Wow, that's awesome. Now I'm going to call you mom and dad. Yes, now we have a little girl. I'm so happy. Me too. Three hours later. Hello again, everyone. Mikey and I decided to play outside while my parents were out. Yes. I was thinking how nice it is that this playground belongs to just us. It's so cool. We don't have to share it with anyone. Yes, we are owners of this place. But I'm sick of sitting here for hours. I suggest we go to our room and play with our toys. Yeah, I'm bored here too. Let's go play at home. And no one will bother us there. It's so nice to live like this. Let's build a castle out of cubes. That's a great idea. You build a castle and I'll build cars to park there. We'll have a castle to store our cars in. We're going to have a big parking lot. That sounds really cool. Let's go build it. What? Who is she? How cool is it to play in your own room? Who's that girl? This is our room. I live here now, too. Mikey! She threw away all of our toys. Who would let her do something like that? It's just awful! Some stranger's girl invaded our home. Yeah, we should call the police to get her kicked out of here. But I live here, too. Who gave you permission to break all of our toys? Mom and Dad are going to come and kick that bully out. But I only played a little. I don't want to live on the streets again. Did you play a little? You made a terrible mess. Yeah, you tell that to the police. You go to jail for that. What? I don't want to go to the police. Why? You won't fix the situation with your tears. JJ is right. You need to clean up here and then leave our house. What's going on here? Why is our daughter crying? Who is she anyway? This is our new daughter, Amphow. We took her from the orphanage. What? Aren't we enough for you? Yes, what about us? Don't you love us anymore? Don't be silly. But she broke all our toys. How did she even dare to do that? She's still a little girl. Be gentle with her. That's it, I'm here. Calm down, Amphow. Mom and Dad are nearby. And who will fix our toys? Go play in the yard. We will raise her and protect her. Um, are you serious? Yes, don't bother us. It's kind of unfair. You are already adults. Go play by yourself. Yes, go already. They dragged some girl into our room, gave her all our toys, and we are to blame? Yes, you are to blame. You brought her to tears. Get out. This is my room. Let's get out of here, JJ. No one loves or respects us here. Some kind of adopted girl is more important to them than their own sons. You're right, Mikey. I was offended by our parents. How could they do that? Now they will forget about us forever. Mikey! And you started crying too? God, you're a grown man. Adults don't cry. God! Our parents will play with her a little and give her back to the orphanage. Don't worry so much. Take it easy. Oh my God! Two hours later. Why didn't parents even do anything when they saw her break our computer? I don't know, JJ. Maybe this girl is more important to them than us now. I don't want to believe it, Mikey. It's too weird. We've been with them a lot longer. It just doesn't work that way. Let's go see what they were doing without us. Maybe the parents realized their mistake. Look at that. A girl sitting alone on the floor crying. What happened to her, Mikey? Ew. It smells awful, too. Look at that. She's pooped. Now I know what that smell is. We need to change her diaper. Yeah, I can't feel it. Only I'm not going to do it. Let you change it. I certainly can't do it. This is disgusting. 
Please, JJ, change her diaper. I'm begging you so much. Why me? Okay, I'll do it. Come on, roll over, I'll change your diaper. Thank you so much. You're very kind. How awful it looks. You just need to stop breathing. Change your diaper quickly and forget about it. Well done, JJ. You will do great. I believe in you. That's it. I've done it. Now you're clean and there's no bad odor. Thank you so much. You were able to help me. Only now you'll be changing my diapers all the time every time you do it. What? What did she just say? Did I just hear what she just said? You heard right, my friends. This is totally disrespectful. Come on, Mikey. We're going to punish her for this. What? What are you going to do? I agree, JJ. It's time for her to realize a little bit that she is a nobody in our family. Let's go, Mikey. How can you be so insolent? Now you'll know what it means to be rude to us. Go on your way. Our parents can't help you now. Now you'll have to live alone on the street. What are you guys doing? Maybe I'm too mean to them. I think I need to apologize and we can live together. We finally did it. Now we can live in peace without the cheeky little girl. Let's go to our room, Mikey. Let that girl learn to survive on her own. What? Is she back with us again? Guys, let's hug it out. I realize not everyone wants to clean up after me, but you'll get used to it. I believe in you. Is she doing it again? I don't think she realizes her mistakes at all. She came in again and continues to be rude to us again. What did I say wrong? Look, she really doesn't know what we're saying. Let's get her away from the house. Maybe then she'll figure out why we don't want her here. Why is that? Cheeky girl. Go far away from here and don't even think about coming back. Come on, JJ. We've got toys waiting for us. Have fun staying outdoors. I'm so tired of walking already. It's horrible. So much trouble from that little girl. The main thing is that we can go play in our room in peace. I agree with you, JJ. Let's not waste any more time. Guys, I realize my mistakes. Let's not fight anymore. Let's go hug and live together again. I will not be bullied and act like a bore anymore. She came again, but now she's apologizing to us, Mikey. I'm not exactly apologizing, of course. You heard that, JJ. People don't change. She's at it again. I was just kidding. Let's be friendly, boys. Don't get mad at me. Look at her. She's very sweet. Maybe we should forgive her. Forgive? All right, let's forgive her. Let her be part of our family. You guys are very kind. Thank you very much. I am very happy to be a part of your family. Cool, Mikey. Let's go upstairs to our room. That's a great idea. Now the three of us can play. There's enough toys for everyone. It's so wonderful when people change and realize they were wrong. Now we can all live together and never fight again. I agree with you. I'm glad it ended so well. I'm very excited too. The three of us will have fun living together. I agree with you, Mikey. The important thing is that now we understand each other and forgive each other. And then we will live together for the better. And now we have a sister. Like us, if you're happy, we could be a whole family. Write comments on what you would do if you were us. See you later. Bye. Stop.